What's your favorite quick snack? Personally, mine is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because you only need three ingredients plus whatever you're going to use to spread it. It's a simple, you can't even call it a recipe. Uh, you don't need any heat for it. And it provides just enough nutrition to keep you moving. In order to start off your sandwich, you'll need some bread. I prefer to use white, but really you can use whatever your preference is. Some peanut butter and some jelly. The steps to make your sandwich are simple. Using two slices of bread, you'll take one of them, use a knife or a spoon to spread your peanut butter on one side of the bread, set that down, and repeat the process with your jelly. Finally, once you have that done, you can add all kinds of things to your sandwich, including Nutella, marshmallow, my dad likes to add potato chips to his, and then you'll put your two pieces of bread together and cut it diagonally to make it easier to eat. As for adding nutrition value, uh, the National Peanut Butter Board says that on average, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich has roughly 15 grams of protein, 13 grams of unsaturated fat, five grams of fiber, and on average about 327 calories and 42.2 total carbs, which is just enough to keep you moving throughout your day. I guess there you have it, the simplest way to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich using only three ingredients. And the nutritional value it provides even, oh my goodness, and you can even make it special to you. Although if you have a known peanut butter allergy, please refrain, refrain from trying this out at home.